These days, we've all been looking at a lot of line graphs and bar graphs, watching trends ebb and flow, and trying to figure out where things are going if there's a logic about it. In many ways, the book of Judges, which we're starting to read this week, is very much like that. You have the people of God now settled in the promised land, and they've started this long period of, now we live here, what's it going to be like? And what do you know? After a little while, they turn away from God, they forget the law of Moses, and they start worshiping other gods, and then they're humbled, and somewhere in that low moment, they turn back to God, and they abandon their idols, and they remember the law, and they're delivered, and then right when it looks like we're coming to resolution, suddenly there's a second wave, and the entire thing starts over again, and it keeps happening again and again and again, ups and downs. And it's a frustrating history, which will go on for centuries this way. So the prophet Ezekiel, who we're also reading this week, we hear him talk about a time when that cycle will break, when God's law will be written by the Holy Spirit into our hearts. It will become internal to us, not on some tablet or scroll that can be set aside and forgotten, but rather in us, and everything would change. So when the Holy Spirit did come down and the risen Jesus sent his spirit to his church to fill his people, they realized that God's promises to Israel were being kept. The Messiah, the promised king, had sent down the spirit as he had promised. And so they really saw themselves as carrying forward the history of Israel, not so much as starting a new religion. And therefore it got kind of confusing when many people who were not Jews started turning to Jesus Christ. The Jewish people had always seen the law of Moses as a cornerstone of their identity. But now here are all of these people who aren't Jews. Some said, okay, well, they need to be circumcised and keep the law of Moses just like we do. That's just how it works. But Paul and many in the early church ended up determining, as we hear in Acts this week and in Galatians, that no, something different is happening. God is blowing aside all of our categories. The Spirit who writes the law within our hearts has come and been given to each of these people. Why are we going to go and make them try to follow a law that we were never even able to keep written on tablets and scrolls, whereas they have the gift of the Spirit, the more perfect gift already in them. And so they determine that it is faith in Jesus Christ. It is walking in love. It is the life of the Holy Spirit that's the cornerstone to our identity as Christians. It's the way we participate in a relationship with the God of Abraham and the covenant that he made with his people. It's for all of us. Enjoy. Enjoy.